right. Excuse me. You know this. I'm not going to play this in full. It's cute, though. That's always tough. I like your little your, want, want, want your timing there. Watch out. Again, picky things. You're all saying you're okay with picky stuff, so I hope that's okay. There's something wobbly in that step down. You just look at the, the root. You can see how spacing wise it's fairly small and it's only from here to here. Like if I put on onion skinning, we are here. It's gonna be mm -hmm. you have a moving camera, so tough tough to show. I hope you can see it. It's very, very small in spacing. And then you have beep right there. A big move. Big move. Bigish move, right? And then we're back to somewhat small. I mean, these are smaller than BAM! That one suddenly pops. Same thing here. So it seems like this could be on a cycle. Maybe. It's less at the end here. That one's a bit accelerated. That's okay. And that's okay right there. Okay, that's okay. All right, let's keep going back. Let's watch out that root at the beginning. It's cute. I love the looseness of the top part. The arms are okay. There's something about that. Uh, her, his left arm is a bit wonky to watch out. As you go up, you hit this, and then it kind of goes back down, and then over this way, as it, as opposed to a nicer, smooth arc. Maybe I should uh, change the colors, so it's not that type of thing, but softer. Or let's watch out for that arc. But the other thing too is that if that arm is here. And starts to swing forward, especially from here. <clears throat> so watch out. You got small, 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 spacing-wise. Bam! They pop forward over one to go into this, but then to go back down. I don't think it's needed. As in, this arm is swinging forward and it's already up there because of its swing. And then it comes down for that. So why not just have this arm here, swing, keep it here, then down here, down here, down here, into that. You know I mean that way you have a nice offset between those arms they don't come and overlap here to go down into that giving this bit of a post to post feel not nah, super post to post more like a twins mirror feel but i think that offset with that with his left arm would be would be kind of nice to just go about it like that it's very cute it's complicated mechanics though it's nice and then I think that's okay. Look at the rotations of the body because it's doing a turn and a slight stop through there. But I think I think you're okay because you're using this leg here to really go forward. I think that's cool. I just feel like your rotation is wonky, as in, or the spacing of the whole body. I hope I'm explaining this correctly. It feels like you're going to the left. It's all fine. And then from here to here, I feel like it's pivoting off of here. If you feel that right there, right? You see the translate going to the left. Here, it starts to pivot over one frame. And then suddenly we move, bam, to the left again. And then the rest is fine. It's just a one frame hiccup there. These are a bit too parallel. I would probably, if you're doing like this, you can probably land with this foot already like this. So that you end up in this position where this is in. Again, for asymmetry, it's not so walk like an Egyptian. You have a bit of asymmetry there at this point in this way, this point in this way. It's cute, cute, cute. <laughs> I like how it magically comes back to the head. Cool. Now, I know you got to read what's on the text and everything. What's happening now? No, and again, I don't know how much you can tweak this a um, couple of things this effect is tracked to the camera and not the object here i don't know if that's important to you or what you want to do i don't know if you can put in the 2d card in that scene it'll probably mess up some of the renders and shadowing and stuff i don't know but you can see how the effect is gliding over that thing picky thing again i don't know if that's important or not i'm just going to mention it the egg feels a bit simple it's rotation i would probably have it come out not so flat but maybe I don't know if it has to be pointed up, but maybe at least a little bit. And that way you got some rotation in there. So it's not just so straight. 
So it kind of has a bit of a rotation as it comes down. And then this is heavier. It puts the hand here. I mean, this is all the section that has no weight or uh, support. So as it comes down, the egg would technically rotate down into something more like that, which I understand the text will be crooked. So maybe what you can do is, again, going back into the rotation, it comes out in whatever angle, rotates, 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 so that when you're here, <clears throat> it's actually rotated down like this, where the text is like that. And then on the land, that's where it flattens out into this. At least you'll get that effect if the backside rotates down because it's heavier and unsupported because the hand is here and add some complexity. What happens too is that his arm feels very okay because you're having that move down and then that up move here. I know it's just very, it's very complicated. It's very tricky. It's always tough to do, but so you're holding that object, it feels like your hand is parented to this and you're moving that object. What happens then is that the orientation, the rotation of this hand is always the same, regardless of the angle of the forearm. And that gives it an IK feel. And then you have a laughter and a lot of movement in here and the arm, which is not represented in the body, as in right there. Like this and this feels so separate from body shell that it gives it that that IK look again not sure how much you can do to tweak it also we're looking yeah, looking at us though but I'll find a way I don't know if you can or if that's something that the client's looking for but where you have potentially a more crooked mouth basically giving this a bit of a line of action in the face but not this much but this feels barely default maybe one side is favored over the other so it's not Kind of mirrored. I mean, it's not quite. It feels like because of the angle, we see more of this side, but it's just so mirrored in terms of the shape. So maybe you can bring one higher. You know what I mean stuff like that. I don't know if that's something they're looking for. Or you can do. It's something that will add some more life to it. Like when you have something like this, when the jaw opens here. I like that the head goes down with the jaw. But then I will bring it back up a little bit. And if you could, if that mouse shape, you know, it will basically be here. On this midsection, it will be a bit more to the right. Then on the lowest part here. And then basically this whole thing. I know do you have controls to move that mouth opening around and give it an arc and movement. Because otherwise, it feels like that's the opening. There's jaw up and down and corners in out and that's it versus some more arcs and movement and there's fleshiness and, and and looseness in the face structure. I don't know if that's something they're looking for. You can do... Um, I know blinks I would usually ease into this more. Like you get to like 80% of where you are and then the last 20% or 10%, they finish over six, seven frames or so just to soften that. Some of the blinks feel a bit mechanical. And we're, we're kind of blinking on the 50% line where I would, if that's your open eye, the lower, the upper lid comes down to here and the lower lid only does maybe this much. It feels like you're 50, 50, like the lower and the upper lid kind of do the same, but only because you're, you're ending lower, which is great. But then we have a bit of a squish going into the middle section and the opening. I'm not sure if I would do that, but I would favor what you did coming down just a bit lower. I hope that makes sense. All right, that's your full eye. That's where the lower lid goes and the uh, the upper lid, the lower lid just does a little bit. Again, it depends how much detail you want to put in there. Like when the lids come down, I would also move the eyes down by a couple frames. It's almost like the lid pushes the, eye, the eyeball down. So my question is, like, do you have time for this? Because I never know. You say, you know, bring in all the information. Uh, I'm just curious if that's just a waste of time for you to hear this. Do you want to add that type of, you know, um, detail to this animation? Can you? Do you want to? Because <laughs> I feel like these are different. Like compared to the very first you showed me, like this is a really nice walk. Got some nice complexity towards the end, right? You walk, but then you start turning a bit to the side. You got already a moving pivot out on the foot. Like all that stuff is really cool. All I would do is here, the land would be a bit more like this. If that's the floor, the foot doesn't come down straight. It comes down 
slightly angled in line with the shin. Then you can go from this to flat. The fingers are probably bringing the index a bit lower. It's kind of like a, a uh, continuous, you know, index a bit lower than mid and then pinky, whatever, how many fingers? Well, you got three fingers. So good weight on that bat too. Boom. Like that's why I'm only mentioning this because I feel like it's getting better and better. The only thing I would say is the arm up here, it's a bit even in timing. So you graph it and it feels like just straight. And I'll give this a bit more of a slower up and then slow fast. A bit of a hey. But I love that it touches this and this is moving. Like I said, you get more and more detail, which is really neat. Then I would just push. It's almost like the body stuff is now more advanced than the face. That's why I mentioned like, you know, some angle asymmetry shapes favored one eye a bit bigger than the other one one eye brow a bit higher than the other one to open up this to this element because that type of detail i think would be really neat watch out that is a bit floaty through there the hand after that move here that i don't know if you want to just go here and rest it on the on the chest and then bring it up for the tap tap is also a bit slow probably go more you kind of think you want to feel the, the structure of that a bit more with some harder taps. <laughs> That's cute. I love this here. Like that type of cute overlap. It's nice. Overshoot there. It's cool too when you go, that you cross those legs. That's the good stuff. All those organic asymmetries. The only thing I would say is on something like this, Everything is moving at the same time. Body, arms, legs into this. If you need, if you go, and then <coughs> if maybe the, uh, I mean, so you have no breakup here, it would just be this rooting this this way. It's almost like you want to leave with the shoulder, which you don't really have. So it would be the whole egg body rotating first, dragging this, dragging the head, and then two, three frames later, the arms kick in. Also, this all moves as one piece. So it would be good if you do this, the head is actually still angled this way and then catches up even if it's just for two three frames you will feel the drag and overlap in this and that's kind of like that well actually you're starting to have see here it's angled down and then you have a slight turn which is great could also be neat to not just rotation but translate so when it comes out it actually comes out here and then into that and that's where it ends up here right so you have maybe this much of translate to the right so it does not just this but and that's that super cute really nice work just remind me how far you want me to go and if that's something you want to incorporate or the client wants to see and you know if that's something that is these are appropriate notes. Like to me, it would be things like even if you go through here, that feels like a default hand. So even when you go like that, I would still have that thumb down. And then on this, you might have index out, but then you start curling these guys in. And at that point, that thumb would be lower. Start to curve back in with the fingers. Just kind of like how far do you want to go? Or can you go in terms of details? Like even this here, I would like put the middle finger here and leave that here. That might be a bit also weirdly twin. It's tricky when you have only three fingers or you just bring in the pinky closer or something like that. Basically grouping of fingers. This feels like an even separation. It's like a default. Whoa, that is me moving my frame. Uh, where were we? <laughs> there you go. So it's just the default spacing of the fingers. Even this here, I would rotate probably to be more flatter towards us. So it's not flat flat this was like the same same flatness to camera stuff like that all righty i'll leave it at that you'll let me know thanks all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whenever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you